Hello students, in this video we'll see the solution to the second problem on the quiz. In this problem, we're given a normal random variable x with mean, mu, and standard deviation, sigma. We suppose also that the mean, mu, is a random variable whose PDF is f of t is t e to the negative t for t greater than zero. We'd like to find the expected value of x. In this problem, we'll use the law of double expected value, so the law of double or conditional expected value states that the expected value of a random variable x is the expected value of the expe conditional expected value of x given a parameter y. And so in this problem, we know that the expected value of x given mu is mu. So to compute the expected value of x, we will write this as the expected value of the expected value of x, conditional expected value of x given mu. And now we know that this is the expected value. This is just mu, because this is a normal random variable. So this is the expected value of the random variable mu. Now to compute the expected value of the random variable mu, we can use this formula. So the expected value of mu is the integral from 0 to infinity. I multiply the PDF by t, so I have a t times t e to the negative t dt. And so what we have here is we have the integral from 0 to infinity of t squared e to the negative t dt. And here's where we employ a very useful rule that is a helpful shortcut. It says that the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the n e to the negative st dt is n factorial over s to the n plus 1. This rule is very useful when you're computing moments of a gamma distribution or moments of an exponential distribution. So we'll employ this integral result over here, which you can verify by integration by parts. And if we do that, we'll see here that my n is 2 and my s is 1. So I'll have a 2 factorial over 1, because my s over here is 1, s to the third, 1 to the third power. And so we see that 2 factorial is just equal to 2. So the expected value of mu is equal to 2. Therefore, the expected value of x is equal to 2 by the law of conditional expected value. Thank you very much.